Um, it's really interesting to me to hear the people that have come up to speak for the park in front of their houses. Uh, it's like we build a nice big fancy house and we want the land in front of it for our view preserved. It's like once we're here, we don't want anyone else here. Uh, I haven't spoken before this group for a long time, but I was the person that started the 2% open space. Um, thank God Debbie Hecht came on and loved working with the computer and we became a good team. We worked so hard to get this whole thing going for the very reason why the gentleman that just said, who just came from Honolulu, we have been working really hard to make this island a special place. The places that 2% has preserved around this island are incredible and I am so proud of what it's done. But we didn't put the 2% into place to save nice parks for fancy communities once they were there, then keeping anyone else out from, from building. We did it to preserve special places. I've been trying for over two years to get Honali on, um, in front of you, the council. And the person that is responsible for bringing it in front of you has not done that. We have had signatures upon signatures. We've had just, I mean, it's amazing what the people we've talked to. And all of the surfers, all of the people from all over this island that use Honolulu um, have all said, we want the parking place, we want the spot. And yet it's been sitting in 2%. 2% said to me, the committee, well, the reason why it hasn't been done yet is because there must be something wrong with the title or something. This is an eager seller for, a very, for, for the tax value, which is less than he paid for it. It's 12 parking spots on Honolulu, and it's a beautiful view for the people that can't walk down to the beach to be able to sit and watch their kids, to watch their surfers. It's what 2% was made for, for people to use an open space and not a house. There's been a house designed for the area. The property goes in well into the middle of the street, and which would close off that whole street and take away a lot of parking. And so what I'm saying is, yeah, it would be great to have as much land as possible, but I think the properties that are already in the 2% that have been waiting to be heard by you really need to be viewed first before we, something that just got kicked in and is just being pushed through by, um, you know, people in this district that are in that area, I don't think is right. I think the people that have signed petitions and have been pushing for the Honolulu property deserve to be heard before this property. Thank you for your time. I know this is not about Honolulu, but we did have a testifier here, so I want to address uh, that issue that she stated uh, that Honolulu should be, had done, uh, come before this first. I just want to say that I did my research, and there, and there are reasons why Honolulu, she stated that there were nine parking uh, lot, uh, stalls could be put on that property. With punk, uh, public open space, you cannot put parking a parking structure onto the public open space lands. It's pu public. Um, oh. Excuse me, no speaking from the um, audience. You, you guys, you had your turn. Uh, this is my turn. If you're out of order, Chair, I'm going to ask if they get out of order that we call a recess. Um, yes. There was an investment made, and that is Mr. Olson's property. Um, I did check, and there was some uh, erosion in that area, and a, some of the cliff fell on that area as well. Um, I went to the community association there and asked them to have a meeting to let them know um, what was happening and if they would want me to, to go after this. They, have, they didn't get together and the, the petitions that I received were a lot of not of that community association. But I just want you to know I appreciate what you said, but I also feel you know, I am going to support um, allowing this to move forward. I don't know where it's going to go. But um, I can understand why she's doing this. Mm -hmm. Would you like to comment? Uh, yes, if I may. And I don't know, Karen, exactly how, what I can say, but I'm well, very proud. 
oh, of Kohala. I'm very proud of what we've done there. That's yeah, wonderful. Okay. And we've had good people there. Um, yes, I, um, I appreciate you saying that. We've actually been two years that it's been open and agreed on and passed the commission. And um, a lot of signatures went in two years ago, and I beg to differ. A lot of the signatures were all the property owners around Honolii. They Sorry, weren't. Excuse uh, me. I, I want to speak to this resolution. But right, that's right. Excuse me. Except for point, point of order. If I can. No. Yeah, okay, point sorry. of order, we're not talking about when, the only reason why I addressed her is she testified and I addressed her testimony. This is not about Honolulu Point. She and I can have a conversation in my office again. I can tell her the research that I found out. But if not, I'm going to go be back and forth about yes, Honolulu Point. You. This is not okay, about Honolulu. This I'm is, going to I, make I, a call. Ms. Okay, we are going out of order and I just feel that it I asked her a question. She's only responding to my question. Yes, and you, you know, can I'm saying we could, me. and just very quickly, I'm not trying to ask for it to go on. I'm agreeing with this, um, and I, I feel that she should be able to respond to my question, it just very briefly. Um, Madam Chair. Excuse me, you have another point of order, Mr. Onishi. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there was a question. Yeah, I'm not sure what the question okay, was. Yeah. I so, asked her. But, but well, then, but then we, if there is going to be a question, it shouldn't be about Honolulu. It's supposed to be about what we I'm asking subject. in terms of the order of the different projects. We're asking council member um, uh, Poindexter is asking us to go out of order. We've had Ms. discussions before. Miss Willie, yeah, I'm, I'm no. just going to clear up one point. The, the priority list does not mean that that's the order that we purchase properties. I think we all know that. Yeah. The priority and list is, is determined by the commission. However, we mm. once we authorize a resolution for negotiations, it could be any one of the properties mm -hmm. gets um, yeah, ready to be purchased with the right. willing seller and everything in place. So, uh, and Mr. Ventura can chime in on that, but I'd rather not keep this discussion going about pros and cons of which property should be first. At this time, I think I asked you earlier if you could speak to her about Honolulu at a different, um, in a different venue. But if Miss Willie has another question for you, that's fine. It has um, to do with this reso. Okay, and I said the same thing that you did, that I recognize that we don't have to, but that we do have mm -hmm. an order, and we do try to honor these things. And um, I, so I appreciate what you're saying, because otherwise, why bother? You know, why bother to do all that? But um, I think that we need to go for when there is an opportunity to pursue it, and it's not necessarily negative to anything else. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Sammy. And thank you for all of your work on the land fund.